Hey guys, it's A True Gamer. In this guide, I'm going to show you how to collect the 26 ancient pages you need to complete your Barbarian Notes, which is a trimmed completionist requirement. Also, I'll show you the results from when I did it, just so you have a better idea of how long it might take you. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is obtain our journal, which is actually called My Notes. And to do that, we need to go to Otto's Grotto. One way to get there is to teleport to a Barbarian Outpost, and then head south. Once you arrive at the hut, talk to Otto Godblessed. He'll give you two books. The one we need is colored brown and labeled My Notes. Alright, I'm going to be showing you two methods, the first being with combat, and the monsters we're going to be fighting are weak to magic. So equip some decent mage gear, and bring runes for air surge. Also, you're going to want to set up your ability bar with your basic magic abilities. I threw an anticipation and freedom as well just to help build up the adrenaline at the beginning, so that we can activate momentum. You'll also want to start off by bringing about 12 to 16 pieces of food that suit your level, as well as a healing familiar. You can bring a unicorn if you like, but a bunyip works just fine. After one or two runs, you'll have a better idea of how much food you'll actually need to take each trip. Now on to the ancient caverns. One way of getting there is by jumping into the whirlpool near Otto's Grotto, which again is south of the Barbarian Outpost. The second way in is via the fairy ring code BJQ. The only catch to this is that you have to have entered the ancient caverns previously with the whirlpool and brought five bitter cat mushrooms to the broken fairy ring there to repair it. Starting from the fairy ring, move southeast a little ways to encounter the first three monsters that have a chance to drop an ancient page. The enraged barbarian spirit, the angry barbarian spirit, and the skeleton brute. Start hitting them with your basic abilities and then when that adrenaline bar is full, activate momentum. After you've dispatched your fierce opponents, start heading east. You'll see a skeleton lying on the ground that you can rummage for a chance to get an ancient page, mangled bones, or even some regular bones. These skeletons also have a chance of turning into a skeleton heavy or a skeleton hero. If it happens to turn into either of them, take it out. Next, move a little more southeast to engage another enraged barbarian spirit. Also note that there is a berserk barbarian spirit in the area as well, which has a reddish color. Don't bother killing it though, as these do not drop ancient pages. Now proceed east where you'll find another skeleton lying on the ground just waiting to be rummaged, and then take out the skeleton thug. And finally, you want to move north and then west around the corner where you'll find a skeleton warlord and another rummageable skeleton. And now you just go back to the starting location and repeat. On a side note, you may have noticed that the spirits are weak to air while the skeletons are weak to earth. In my opinion, I think it's more efficient just to stick with air surge so we can continue to auto cast and not worry about switching spells or using earth runes. Also, with Air Surge, the skeletons get taken down just as fast as the spirits anyway. But in the end, it's your choice what you want to do. Alright, the second method doesn't consist of us engaging in combat, so what we're going to do as far as equipment goes is wear items that help boost our overall life points. Alternatively, you can replace some of those slots with weight reduction clothing, such as the Agile Top, Agile Legs, Spottier Cape, Penance Gloves, or the Boots of Lightness, since we're going to be running a lot more consistently with this method. Also, if you desire it, you can bring along a few energy potions to help you out as well. Starting from the fairy ring once again, you're going to head east and rummage the first skeleton. Continue further east and claim the second skeleton for your own. Now head north and then west around the corner to reach the third skeleton. Now run up these stairs and rest to restore your run energy to about 90% and then exit to lobby. Now select a second world to log into for the next run. And now just repeat the process in reverse. The respawn rate for the skeletons is relatively quick, so with this method you only have to alternate between two worlds. After you rummage the third skeleton, you want to move into this area right here where nothing can attack you, exit to lobby, and then of course log back into the first world and rummage the skeletons once again. One thing to mention with this method, if at any time a skeleton comes to life and starts attacking you, don't fight back, just move on to the next location. 
With either method, whether it be from a monster drop or from rummaging a skeleton, you should eventually receive an ancient page. One good way of keeping track of the pages you've already collected is with their examine messages. On screen, I have presented each of the examine messages in white, and underneath those are the messages you'll see when you add the page to your log. To the left of the messages, you'll see the ancient page icon that represents them. Now, despite there being 26 Barbarian Notes in total, there are only two Ancient Page Icons. Each one of the icons represent 13 of the 26 notes. When you finally obtain all 26 unique Barbarian Notes, your My Notes Journal should confirm it by showing roughly 23 and a half pages filled in. On screen right now, you'll see the results I got while completing this requirement. In total, I completed 19 runs, each lasting on average around an hour. The clips show me examining each page and adding them to my log after every run. Now you may notice I did get way more than 26 pages in total. This is because you can receive multiples of each page even after you've copied it to your log. Because of this major luck factor, it can extend your total time searching for the pages. From what I've heard, it has taken people anywhere from 20 to 30 hours to complete, with the possibility of taking even longer if you're extremely unlucky. When you copy a page to your log that you haven't collected previously, you'll receive a message that says you copy the scrap of information to your logbook. And if you get one that you have collected previously, it'll say you already have this information in your logbook. One final thing I'd like to note, out of the two methods I showed you, neither one was really any faster at collecting ancient pages than the other. Personally, I prefer the non-combat method, as it's a little bit more relaxing while you world hop. With the combat method, you do have to remain alert a lot more, but on the upside, you do gain some combat experience, so just choose the method that you think is best for you. In closing, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. If you thought this video was informative, please give it a like. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway guys, I hope this guide will help you on your journey to a full journal of Barbarian Notes. And I wish you good luck.